New details today from AT&T regarding date, a data breach earlier this year. Yeah, the company now says the data of almost all of its 100 million customers in the U.S. was compromised. Leslie Gatiss has details on the breach and tips to keep you and your information safe. Telecommunications giant AT&T said today the data of nearly all of its customers was downloaded to a third-party platform in a 2022 security breach. Edgar Dworsky is with ConsumerWorld.org. It really is a huge number. We're talking about something like 110 million customers, but it's kind of another day, another data breach. I mean, I'm sure... Everything about us is out there somewhere at this point. This data breach is a little different due to the information that was accessed. AT&T's investigation determined the compromised data includes files containing records of calls and texts. But it did not contain the content of those calls or texts, personal information like social security numbers, dates of birth, or other personally identifiable information. So should you be concerned about it? One expert says yes. With the access to the call and text logs, that actor can piece together a compromised picture of that individual's personal and professional contacts and potentially lead to some privacy invasions. Another area is identity theft. The data can be used in combination with other publicly available information to impersonate that individual. And she says you may want to screen your incoming calls more closely. With this information, these actors can be a lot more crafty in impersonating um, someone that you may know or even use a phone number that looks familiar to you to call your phone. Don't wait for the next data breach to be proactive. You should be monitoring all of your accounts regularly and looking for any suspicious activity. Make it a habit to only open text messages from people that you know and trust. Don't reply to a text from an unknown sender with personal details. Always go directly to a company's website. Don't use links included in a text message. Scammers can build fake websites using forged company logos, signatures, and styles. Change your passwords regularly and turn on two-factor authentication for any device or application that has it available. You absolutely have to be alert. Double-check emails before you click. You know, make sure you have a freeze on your credit reports. Just be careful. And unfortunately, these days you have to assume your information is out there. That's right. Assume it's out there. And if your information was a part of this AT&T data breach, the company says it will notify you by text, email, or U.S. mail. But... Beware of scammers who are going to take advantage of this situation. They will likely be sending out fake emails that may look like they are coming from AT&T. So be cautious. You can get more information on the company's website at att.com slash data incident. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.